Hi everyone, I just wanted to take the time today to say hello, happy Sunday, and also give you a flip through of my Garrick Ollivander Harry Potter inspired junk journal. So I'll go ahead and do that and not waste too much time talking. So here's the journal. It is a traveler's notebook, so you'll notice I have the two holes at the bottom and the top, and so that allows for the elastic so you can switch out the signatures uh, so you can use it endlessly. On the spine is this tassel that I've made. It has a fabric tape measure with the number two that signifies Garrick Ollivander's two children, a son and a daughter. You have multiple colors on the tassel. Uh, you have a fabric tape measure because he is a wand maker. You have colors that match with the book cover itself, but then you also, also have this lace, which represents Ollivander's wife, and then the colors of Ravenclaw, which in the book it's actually bronze and blue as opposed to blue and silver in the movies. This is a hardcover book that I've made out of chipboard and covered with fabric. This is a nickel plate that I was able to find from kind of like a restoration hardware type store and I've hand painted it myself to this bronze color and it actually matches the book corners so all of the corners have the metal and it is closed with this ribbon. You can actually untie the ribbon as well but it is attached to the book and you simply just slide it one way left to loosen it up and then slide it right to tighten it. But I'll go ahead and slide it all the way left so that we can open up the book and I can show you. All right, so hopefully it's in frame. And so we'll just start flipping through the pages. So on the first page here, hopefully you can see on the cover itself, I have two pockets and a bunch of ephemera. So here's one pocket and I have a couple of ticket stubs that you can journal on. I have two journal cards and I've made this glitter paperclip bow and it's in bronze and blue, which again is the color of Ravenclaw. I've used music paper for the first signature here, and I think I may have used it for all signatures. I'm not quite sure, I can't remember. But this book contains three, two signatures, two full signatures, and I'll note in the description how many pages, and then it's gonna be on my Etsy shop as well. Oops. So here you have a pocket with ephemera. You have the, um, Textbook for spells. This is a general counter spell. Lined paper. Ledger paper. Little pocket that's stamped with Ollivander. More ephemera. And because this is a Garrick Ollivander's journal, I failed to mention that I wanted to focus on an artist's sketchbook uh, slash junk journal. So I've included canvas here and a little bit of palette paper. And this is really good palette paper. This is what I use for painting. And I've been able to use heavy body, layers and layers of heavy body acrylic, and it doesn't seep through. So I've also included that with a little page of canvas here. More palette paper, and this is actually watercolor, and this is cold pressed watercolor paper. Here is handmade paper gold paper from the Philippines and it's very fibrous and luscious and it's just got a little oops little hidden page under there and I'll get to these in a second it just kind of fell out you have a floating bookmark and it's laminated I have two journal cards in there and another glitter bronze paper clip there's the elastic holding that signature. More watercolor paper. And canvas 
and palette paper. Here is a envelope that I've just paper clipped and it reads Skerrick Ollivander, Hogsmeade, Maine. That's where his wand shop is. You have more ledger paper with a tuck spot. Tuck spot allowing you to put something in there. So let me grab so you can place that in there. Hopefully you can see that. Lined paper in the other half of the spell book. You have more tuck spots. I stamped that with a Hogwarts emblem. And this opens up to have journal pages and a couple of other tuck spots. I've included some tags here. And these are four ticket stubs. I'll probably be adding more ephemera to this as well. But this is what you get at base. And then here's the inside. Um, this is the the break between the two signatures and what I've placed in there is a hard writing board and in this hard writing board I have plenty of pockets so here's a pocket here here's a pocket here and then you have kind of a belly band here and then another pocket there and here's some extra palette paper that I've included and this is just so that if you want to write on one of your papers, um, you might need a hard surface, so you can just place this behind. So I'll place it right there. And then this is a waterfall card that I've made, and it's stamped with Hogsmeade. And basically, you can just open it up and it has multiple pages. I've alternated it between a journal card at the top, a canvas snip on the bottom so you can paint on it, a pocket. Let me see if I can find something here. Here we go. Oh, it's too large. Hang on. <laughs> so here's an altered playing card. So there's a pocket there. Another canvas. Journal card canvas. Another pocket. Canvas. Journal card. And then I've included this little envelope and it reads, Every artist was first an amateur. And inside the envelope, if I can get to it here, let's see if I can, I have cut out little pieces of canvas for you. So you can paint and collage that onto your journal. So that is the waterfall card. And I just place that in between the signatures. All right, second signature. First page is the Ollivander wand bag. So when you purchase a wand at Ollivander's, it comes in this really beautiful blue bag and I've cut it down so it's a pass-through pocket. So you can place something long in there. More pages. I love vellum. It's been coffee stained and it's beautiful. Then we have this little bookmark that you can remove and put it anywhere you want. A little ephemera there. I've included more ticket stubs. More watercolor paper and palette paper. I'm sorry, canvas and palette paper. It's watercolor and more palette paper. This is a floating little file folder that I've made. It has four pockets and I've included lace on it. And there's a little bit of washi. So you can place little knickknacks in there, little pages that you want to journal. And then I've added this little charm for you. And it reminds me of an olive branch, which is Ollivander's name essentially, he who holds the olive branch, something like that. It might be in Greek, I think. Don't quote me on that. So I'll place that floating, floating bookmark back in there. Ollivander was a big fan of Quidditch, so he has some mementos. And these are four tickets to a Quidditch game, as well as the 400 second second uh, Quidditch World Cup brochure. Now, I didn't make this, so it's not included in the price that I'm selling. It's actually just free to you. This was made by uh, M Muggle Magic DIY, or Muggle Magic. I'll link to his channel here, but he makes all of these and he provides it free. So it wouldn't be fair for me to charge you for this. I'm just including it because it's part of my personal collection. But he is just so amazingly talented, so I'll include his. 
uh, channel, but I've also included it in here, but it's not part of the, the charge for the book. Okay? Alright, so as part of this, because Ollivander is a wand maker, that to me is an artist. Um, it takes a lot of time, dedication, and obviously knowledge um, honed to that specific art. So what I did was I asked my mother, who's also an artist, to sketch out some prototype wands. So to put herself in essentially Garrick Ollivander's shoes, and if he were to be creating new wands, how would he sketch them out? So then my mother sketched them out, and then I took those sketches and I did my own research to identify what types of wood would be best for the wand, um, if there were any animals or if it contained certain types of hairs or cores that belong to animals in the Harry Potter parallel world. Um, and then I incorporated that into the sketches themselves. So these next four pages are uh, actual printouts of the sketching that my mom did and then obviously my description of these prototype wands. So here's the first one. Well, you can see that. It's a very dark wand. Therefore, when I did my research, I identified that Garrick Ollivander made this. It's a 14 inch purple heart wood with a Tebow husk core. Tebow is kind of like a, a boar in the parallel Harry Potter world. And it has some invisibility potential. Prototype for Alastor Moody because it's a really large wand. Um, I don't know if you know what Alistair Moody's wand looks like, but it's probably one of the largest ones. So that's why it's 14 inch. It's strong. It has some um, invisibility potential. So this would have been Alistair Moody's wand if he had gone with this one. However, we know he didn't. Next one, I like this one a lot. Let me show you up close to that here. And this one is a 13 inch alder wood with a pygmy puff core extremely flexible and can expand to protect handler. So imagine if you wanted to uh, kind of deflect from other types of spells being cast at you, this will expand like a pygmy puff. So that would have been nice to actually prototype out. I have some ideas on how I want to do that, but I have not done it yet. So that's that second one. Uh, here is another floating bookmark and I actually embossed and then stained it, went over it with some uh, brown color, and then there's a quote that I had typed with my typewriter on some vellum paper, and it reads, art is not what you see, but what you make others see. And that's a quote from Pablo Picasso. And it has a pocket and three little crystal charms. Hopefully you can see it. And that's the back, and you can see it's beautifully embossed. And it's the same embossed as the inside cover there, if you can see it, okay? All right, moving on to the next page. I'll show you this one. In my mind, this is probably for like a Death Eater, right? It's a 12 inch yew wood with a basilisk skin core, unyielding strength, and known to irritate unauthorized handlers. So if you do a little bit of research on yew wood, um, quite a few people are known to be irritated from yew wood. So I thought that would be a good core or type of material that a death eater could handle. And it looks like, to me, it looks like a snake or claws or something. All right, last but not least is this wand. And this one is a 13 inch iron wood with an Abraxan feather core. And Abraxan is, I don't wanna say it's like a unicorn, but it's a horse with wings and you'll have to just look it up. Um, anyways, it's a 13 inch U, I'm sorry, iron wood with an Abraxan feather core, possibly the most powerful wand with house gems, prototype for vault 424. So it's in prototype vault 424. So I was able to go to vault 424 at Gringotts and get the wand for you. Now it's obviously missing one of the gems here, but it has been mended. So right now this one only has one, two, three, four, five gems. And these all represent colors 
of Hogwarts. So you see here Slytherin as an example, Ravenclaw, and these are just marbles, and then the top one is a, a colorless. But this wand I made and hand painted. So it's a burnt umber with bronze finished over it. And this was made using paper clay. And it's very large and I've made it so that your thumb perfectly fits in this little notch here. In fact, you have my thumbprint on there. <laughs> and then this side perfectly fits your hand. So when you wrap your hand around the wand, it just fits perfectly. And so here is the wand from Vault 424, which was a prototype. So you will be the owner of this most powerful wand when you also purchase this journal. And you can see it's, I tried to make it as similar to the sketch as possible. And it is heavy, this wand. I mean, not super heavy, but compared to the other wands. All right, uh, more watercolor paper, pages, canvas with your palette paper. Here I have a little tuck spot made out of vellum, but I've cut out this faux leather and this chipboard tag, and I've put brads on it and sewed it across, and it's basically tracing paper. So if you wanted to trace something, you can just tear it off and use your tracing paper. So I've included that because you are the artist. More paper, and that's the end of that signature. Now on the back here is a what, it's not an olive branch, but for to me it looks like an olive branch. You have some lace here, and that is Garrick Ollivander's wife's button. Uh, I would like to think her name is Rose, although it never mentions in the book what's her name, what is her name. There's a quote that his wife loved, and it reads, Speak Low If You Speak Love by William Shakespeare. And if you didn't know, uh, Garrick Ollivander became very close to Luna Lovegood when they were both being kept uh, as a prisoner and being tortured by Voldemort. So when Luna got married to Newt Scamander's, I think it's his grandson, uh, she, he, Garrick Ollivander was invited to the wedding. So he kept this as a memento and it reads RSVP Luna Lovegood Scamander Hogsmeade Zoo of Magic. If you didn't know, Luna grows up and becomes a magizoologist. That's why her wedding is held at a zoo. And then this is the ticket, uh, the coat check ticket. So a little butterfly here that I've painted. This is a doily and on the doily was probably the best chocolate cupcake that Garrick Ollivander ever had, so he obviously saved it. <laughs> and then last but not least was the napkin that was part of uh, their wedding and their table place setting. And he thought it was beautiful because it was, it's Luna Lovegood. It's nature, it's romantic, it's dreamy. So he kept these three items or four items from her wedding as a memento. And that I'm just placing in that pocket for you. So that is the journal in its entirety. You get the journal. You have this handmade one-of-a-kind wand that I made. I used a wooden dowel on the inside, covered it with paper clay, and then I added the marbles on. I glued on the marbles, and then I painted everything. And last but not least, as part of the journal, you also get this little pocket book and it's the advanced potion making that's the front that's the back there's the spine and I've just included blank pages of coffee stained paper that I cut myself this is a little envelope stamped and this is an actual sketch um, from JK Rowling and that's Severus Snape and then Harry and it looks like a uh, Ron may be looking on. You put anything you want in this little envelope here. And then in the middle, I have another envelope and it's from the Owl Post. 
So this could serve as a little mini sketchbook for you to put your ideas on. You can write in it, you can give it away, but this is also included in the hardcover journal. So these are the three things that uh, will be for sale on my Etsy shop and everything that's uh, inside as well, so all the contents. Now, if for whatever reason you can't get your hands on the hardcover or you can't afford the hardcover, then you can purchase the soft cover. And the soft cover on the front here is this metal plate and this O for Ollivander. You have tassels and you have that little olive gem. And then this is a soft cover uh, traveler's notebook. So it actually may fit in your Midori. I don't have a Midori, so I don't know if it would fit, but the size I, I'm pretty sure it will allow you to fit. And it's soft cover, but it's of the same fabric. It's also a traveler's notebook and it's unfinished edges, which I like. Then you have your little potion maker, little tiny one inside here that's on the elastic. Hardboard just fell out for you to write on. And then you have your pockets of ephemera and you also have your little paper clip. Now I'll just go through the pages quickly here because for the most part it's the same. Ledger. This is a book page from a nature book. Pockets with palette paper, watercolor. Look at how beautiful that stain, that coffee stain is. Oh, love it. All right, um, you also have a book page from the uh, potions. So most potent potions. And that's Skelligro, just in case you guys um, broke your leg or something. I did yesterday. Uh, you have your four pages of wands, your floating bookmark, another laminated floating bookmark with a paper clip of Ravenclaw colors. You have your envelope paper clip, more pages, ledger, textbook again, and this like, is that Lumos? Let me see here. What is that Lumos? I wasn't sure here. Oh, I already passed it. More pages, line pages, watercolor paper. And then again, you have your olive in the back with your little button. It's a little hidden there. And then you also have more mementos from Luna Lovegood's wedding. And on the inside, you have pasted to the cover um, pages from the most potent potion, chapter six. So that is the soft cover journal. Um, if you wanted or prefer to get the soft color cover and it's just one signature. So these will all be listed on my Etsy shop. Uh, my Harry Potter one sold to an amazing father and mother who purchased it for their daughter for her college graduation and she loved it and I'm so happy. So that sold out. However, these will be on my Etsy page today. So if you have any questions, uh, leave them below or just um, any comments, let me know. But uh, I think next is going to be Hermione Granger and then I'm going to finish up the Harry Potter series and then I will be jumping into Game of Thrones. All right, uh, have a great weekend and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!